and we're going to start. I really hope that this isn't going to kick my ass too badly. We are going to start Celeste, which I hear is uh, I've heard, heard very good things about it, but I'm kind of scared of scared of it at the same time because it looks hard as shit. Right, this isn't part of the uh, pile of shame, by the way. Because I feel like not enough time has passed since it came out. To uh, to justify pile of shame status. We've got a good start already. The uh, music's very good. It's like peaceful. Might be too loud, but we'll ch we'll change that in a minute. Yeah, just starting carrot. Yeah, sorry man. I d it was. Uh, I didn't realise you hadn't played this. It was not my intention to. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything for you. I appreciate you popping in though, man. Good to see you're all right. I'm hoping um, you're kicking ass in the um, revision department. I'm sure you are. So I'm just moving a few bits around here. There we go. We're all good. All sorted. go to bed anyways exam tomorrow uh good luck man i hope i hope honestly i hope you do all right with it i'm sure you will you're fucking badass i believe in you you can do it <laughs> celeste is pretty hard i think good luck uh we'll see we'll see kermit hopefully i'm all right with it it's, uh, it's been a while since I've played any kind of platformer like this, so... It's gonna, gonna be interesting to see how, uh, how well I hold up here. Honestly, like, if, I, if I was a guessing man, this is total guessing here, uh, I would say that Final Fantasy VII will come out around... I'm going to say it's going to come out first quarter, the first episode will come out the first quarter of next year. Because if they've got financial reports that are expecting a big release, then it will happen just before the end of the financial year. So yeah, I'm going to say March. March next year is when the first episode of Final Fantasy VII comes out. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take a stab. That's gonna be my guess. <clears throat> um it says um it says Gynegard. Um My alert's not working again. It says Gynegard um subbed, but it doesn't say when. I'm not getting the alert for it or anything. I'll have to chase him up on that. Thanks. Thanks again, Streamlabs. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I'm uh, I'm alright. I think I'm alright at platformers usually. Well, Sonic, at the very least. But I've had a lot... I've had a, more than one person say that I should play this. And it was free on gold the other month. And I've heard nothing but good things. So, I figured, why not? Why not go for it? Guy, I'm alright, dude. How are you? You're right. You're just in time. Just about to start this. Literally. Uh, just screen size. I think we're good. Yeah, it's already at max. Uh, climb. 
language. Canadian? <laughs> I'm guessing the game is Canadian then. Uh, Speedrun clock. Wow, they've even put a speedrun clock in there. Interesting. Let's climb. Uh, we'll keep... Um, I'm not going to put assist mode on. I don't. I, I hear that's like it just helps you through some of the harder bits. I'm going to try and do as much of it as I possibly can. We're going to keep the character's name as Madeline. So let me know if the game's too loud, guys. I'm going to, going to adjust it as I go along. This is it, Madeline. Just breathe. Why are you so nervous? Actually, I think I've got the perfect level of sound there for a change. Even if I wasn't, I'd tell you I was. <laughs> I hope I hope you genuinely are, guy. I honestly do. What ended up happening at the psycho job? Did you find Kate? Yes. Yes, we did. Uh, although it's uh, you can miss her. So I'm just going to bring it down a tiny bit. It peaked a little bit high there. There you go. That should be all right. Uh, nightmare. I, I saw you popping in there. Oof, Celeste. Good luck, my friends. Thanks, man. Mo, could you please give um, Nightmare a shout out, please? The legend himself. Was she on on it? Uh, no, no. I am. Um, I'm putting the playthroughs of that up, dude, on uh, YouTube. Uh, if you're if you're interested in catching the end of it. Wait, did she just sneeze? I missed that. Uh, the the last parts will go up in the next sort of uh, probably it'll probably end up finishing next week I think. You never finished it, nightmare. Oh damn, dude. Game was designed for speedruns, if I recall correctly. Here you go, nightmare. Let me uh. Let me give you a shout out there. What have you been playing recently? Resi 2. Oh, sweet. Dude, I still haven't played Resi 2. I'm, uh... I'm, I'm waiting for it to get cheaper, but it's uh, it's holding holding its price at the moment. I think the cheapest is about 25 quid at the moment. I'm waiting for, like, sub 20. <laughs> I really want to play it, though. But, guys, yeah, if you haven't already, give Nightmare a follow. Another very under underrated streamer. The, the guy is a legend. I, uh, I recommend giving the man a follow. He's doing Resi 2 runs, haven't done it in months, it was rough. Are you doing speed runs of it, dude? Right. Oh wow, this has got really nice, like, vibration feedback. Okay, so we've literally just got jump at the moment, that is it. Oh, fuck. I'll tell you what, the jump feels nice. And you can use the D-pad. Hold LT to climb. I think I'm going to use the stick, though. Okay. Oh, I like it! <laughs> it's like Star Fox. Excuse me, ma'am. The sign out front is busted. Is this the mountain trail? You're almost there. It's just across the bridge. By the way, you should call someone about your driveway. The ridge collapsed and I nearly died. If my driveway almost did you in, the mountain might be a bit much for you. Well, if an old bat like you can survive out here, I think I'll be fine. I, I love the fact that there's even like snarkiness in the sound. <laughs> I love it already. Suit yourself. But you should know, Celeste Mountain is a strange place. 
You might see things. Things you ain't ready to see. You should seek help, lady. <laughs> Man, already I'm already in love with it. <laughs> I'm loving the snow. The snow effects are really nice as well. I like the, the wind blowing in different directions. Uh, being on the hunt for a new game to run, but nothing looks super interesting. Maybe just play something, Nightmare. Just don't don't worry about uh, don't worry about speed running something. Just just play. <laughs> we can still hear her laughing. No. Okay, how do we do that? You can do this. Okay, oh wow, so this is like a, it's a city. I wasn't expecting a city, actually, I've got to say. Forsaken City. Now, this is a good game, recently beat the last B-side. How, how was it, Slug? Was it alright? Everyone's telling me this is like the fucking hardest, but I honestly kind of like hard platformers. As long as it's fair. You've been on a roguelike gaming binge recently, Kim. What what sort of stuff have you been playing? I'm digging the music as well. Do you reckon we can go... Do you reckon we can go down the bottom? I'm not going to try that theory out yet. I've heard this song. Now I've heard straw, it's all about the strawberries in this game, right? How can you wall jump? Oh, you can fucking wall jump! Love it! Oh, I think I had the right idea there. So where do you start? Okay, fine. That is perfectly fine. So we've basically got like trials levels of uh, difficulty here. So when her hair's blue like that, does that mean she can't do it again? Yeah, so I only get one jump at the moment. I'm guessing later on I get, get some more. Star so Risk of Rain 2, which is amazing by the way. Can't wait to see what the devs, devs do with the game in early access. Uh, Kim, did you see that there's a uh, roadmap for what they're adding? I think it's by this time next year the game will be finished, I believe. I haven't played it, but I was reading up on it the other week. Uh, I was watching Slane play it a couple of weeks ago and he, uh, he seemed to have a good time with it. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. D don't tell me there's like some kind of fucking uh, complete this game without dying thing. I bet you there is, isn't there? There's bound to be a, a fucking achievement for, for completing it without dying at all, right? Right, so you can't drop down platforms. Ah, shit. I actually forgot about that. <laughs> you know what it feels like? I know I haven't played them, but it feels like a Mega Man game almost. Dude, the game sounds glorious as well. What's the point of up there? Is there anything? Ah, oh, okay, right, so there's a, there is a limit to your climb as well. Interesting. It's harder than Meat Boy, but nowhere near the hardest. That title goes to Dust Force. Shit, dude, I thought I thought Meat Boy was hard. <laughs> I feel like Meat Boy's, like, uh, the controls aren't as tight, though, personally. Like, they're very slidey, aren't they? But they're meant to be. I feel 
feel like this this has got a nicer feel to it personally. Uh, saw the roadmap. It gives a bit of an idea, but it's a real vague roadmap. I think it gives a. It's like a what like a, a level or two, like level each month or two, right? I think I saw. Stuff like summon new character, new items, balance changes, right? Go like King, like Kingdom Hearts, then it'd be less bad. I mean, to be fair, we don't know for sure what it's going to be like. It looks like you're right, though. But honestly, I feel like the best um, RPG um, battle system was probably Grandia's. Because it was turn-based, but you could see when your turns were taking place, and you could knock enemies back so that they could not attack. That was, uh, that was very good. Oh, I see. Does that give you a boost up? Is that... Just trying to work out if there's like a momentum thing going on here. Kind of? Got it! Uh, anything down here? That looks like a secret. Yeah! Oh man, there's gonna be so many fucking secrets in this, isn't there? No! Oh, oh! Now, let's, uh, let me just test something here. If I die here, I still get the, uh, still get the... Oh, wait, is this something else over there, though? Ah, oh, I thought there'd be something in that little bit there. Alright, so if you, if you just die, then you, you don't lose your strawberries. Isn't that essentially Persona? N not quite. Marcelo, not quite. Uh, like you had a you had a gauge at the bottom, unless the older personas have it. You had a gauge at the bottom that showed like each character like progressing down the line up to a point where you attack, and you could uh, yeah you could stop enemies from attacking if you could uh, hit them in a certain way. Final Fantasy X like then, yeah kind of a bit more. I think it was a little bit. There was a little bit more to it than Final Fantasy X's. Honestly, it's been a long time. I couldn't tell you exactly. Yeah, Kermit, the m music's fucking banging in this, isn't it already? Pretty uh, been itching to play some Streets of Rogue. Is that like Streets of Rage? <laughs> I don't think we're going to get that anytime soon. Not, not from this side. Right, what does that do? I don't know. Man, holy shit, there's a lot of secrets. <clears throat> kind of triggers this ATB version 2 and I'd say it's the best iteration of the ATB system. Ah, oh, maybe that's maybe that's similar to uh, Grandia then, Marcelo. Yeah, I'll have to look into it. I mean, Chrono Trigger is on the uh, list of games to play, potentially, so... I haven't made my mind up yet. 
I'm going to keep that in there. Oh shit, there's something there. I can't lead you. There's going to be like loads of stuff to find here. Are you beach ready? I'm fucking definitely not beach ready. I don't think I could be any further from beach ready. Ah, I'm not going to get my uh, thing back there, am I? No. Whoops. Ah, okay, right. I have to jump up to the other bit. There you go. That's what, that's what I've got to do. There's a tiny little gap there. No! Oh, man. Okay, I can see why this is going to get harder later on. Even though this isn't... I know what to do. It's just pulling it off, isn't it? Whoops! <laughs> hmm. Streets Rogue is like Binding Isaac had an illegitimate baby with classic 2D top-down GTA. It turned out they were married in secret and the baby is actually the heir to the Seven Kingdoms. <laughs> Kim, that's a really good way of describing it. The, ne the name rings a bell. Oh, is that... That might be the wrong decision. I don't know, I might be able to do that. Whoa! I did not want that momentum there. Thank you. That's what I wanted. Oh, come on. Oh, no. I nearly fucked it up there. Chrono Trigger didn't do random encounters. I feel like I really should play that game. So we, we never got it, unfortunately. Oh, dear. That's a... So that's a bit of an evil one. The fucker. Nope. Alright, so you can't just like grab. Uh, can I do that? You have to actually. Uh... Interesting. Yeah, you have to. You have to get to like flat ground before you can actually pick up. The, um, I think I know what to do. Marcelo, Chrono Trigger is currently on the pile of shame. I just haven't decided if it's going to go stay on it yet. No, no, no. P P4 is not going anywhere near the fucking pile of shame. <laughs> Honestly, I've got I've got at least two different RPGs that I'm thinking of playing before I even start Persona 4. Um, I'm thinking of doing um, oh shit what's it called again Trials of the Cold Steel I want to do that oh well go on guess guess the other one assuming that wasn't the guess just finished eating so I'm off to die in Dead Cells a bunch well have a good stream thanks Kim <laughs> appreciate it man DQ11 switch. You you guessed it, man. You got it. I'm actually not sure what to do here. I've got an idea, but.
I don't need to get these now, but I feel like I should probably... Yeah, you know what, fuck it. We'll just keep going and come back and get these. Well, in theory, I can come back and get these. Can we fling myself over there? Yeah, we can. Bollocks. <laughs> Fuck. Um, yeah, the next proper long RPG that I'm thinking of playing is either going to be Trials of the Cold Steel 1 or uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Persona 4 is like way, way in the fucking future. I know I love it, but I need to, uh, I need to take a break from Persona. Shit. Man, this is this is perfect because you can you can just try shit and it doesn't matter if you die. Not not really. Oh, come on, I keep. Keep not holding right for long enough. There you go. Oh, I see. So those ones, you have to kind of... Um, you just got to go to the place they are to move them onto a different room, I guess. But no, yeah, Persona, Persona isn't going to get touched for a while. Oh, okay. So those, those give you an extra jump. They, like, refresh your jump. I see. I'll tell you what, they're not fucking around, are they, with their... Uh... It's not super hard or anything, but they're not uh, they're not messing around with difficulty. I can see this getting well hard later on. Hey, Cerebron. That's a that's a new face. Honk, good luck. Have you uh, have you been playing this yourself? Thank you so much for the raid, dude. That's uh, that's very kind of you. Mo, could you give uh, Cerebron a uh, shout out, please? See if you've been playing Celeste. Thank you, dude. Yes, you have been playing Celeste. Yeah, I've uh, I've literally just started it, dude. So uh, as you well, as you can probably see, you're doing endgame stuff. You're collecting um, collecting strawberries. Thank you, uh, thank you so much for bringing your people across, dude. It's nice to uh, nice to meet someone new. Oh yeah, no, no, uh, no spoilers. We're going in blind on this one. I'm trying to do uh, trying to do every game blind nowadays. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, welcome, guys. My name is Sounds. You can call me Tom. Um, I'm a variety streamer. We were just playing uh, Link to the Past earlier, which is my first playthrough of that. So as you can, yeah, definitely, I play anything pretty much as long as it's good. And uh, I like a lot of anime. This is my, these are my babies here. These are all my games. I have too many games. <laughs> yeah, good to, good to meet you guys. Oh, what, just saying the, the the end game is tough is not. No, that's not spoilers. I kind of assumed that uh, it was. Well, I didn't even assume people have been saying how hard it is already. Uh, uh. Ah, okay. Got it. Got it. See, I, I guess if I... Hang on, just to test the theory. Yeah, if I, if I gripped onto that, it would have shown me that that's going to drop. Lovely. Can never have too many. 
What, friends or games? Games, definitely not. Well, you, you can. I had um, I had a pile of them fall on top of me when I was asleep, so I feel like that's the point where you should probably stop. You know, you don't want to be... I feel like being killed by a bunch of games is probably not the way you want to go, really, is it? Oh, like, didn't, didn't hold on to L, L button there. Okay, so the momentum stuff is pretty generous, it seems. Is it a gravestone? Celeste Mountain. This memorial dedicated to those who perished on the climb. I love, I love the music change. It's really nice. Ugh, I'm exhausted. This might have been a mistake. We have in dreams. Ah, oh, that's nice. I like the art. The art's super nice in this. It's really relaxing. You know what? I think they've done it deliberately, haven't they? They've deliberately done like relaxing music just so you don't like fucking rage and like throw your controller through your TV. <laughs> uh. Uh, have a great time hunting the berries. Oh, you're about to name what you're doing, which isn't a spoiler in itself, but it is spoilery. Even talking about spoilery stuff is spoilers. <laughs> have I come across anyone else in this forsaken land yet? A uh, mountain. Only the old lady in the prologue. That's that's it so far. But no. It's it's just difficult, man. I don't know if you find it, Cerebron, as a, as a streamer yourself, but like... Um... I know people mean well, but I, I like to play games as like blind as possible, um, because I feel like I can't get like a genuine reaction out of it if like I already know roughly what's going to happen. Saw a streamer saying this part is awesome is a spoiler. I, Marcel, I kind of un I kind of understand where they're coming from there because it gives you expectation for what's about to happen. It's like if you say like, oh, this bit in a film is awesome before it happens, because then you know something's good, like awesome is going to happen when it might have been a surprise. Some people have different thresholds for spoilers. It never hurts to be safe. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty. Um, my threshold for spoilers is pretty like, I've got low tolerance for it. <laughs> I've had so many games like, uh, well, just. Not not a lot of games, but like very big plot points in games that have been uh, spoiled just by accident. It's not even like deliberate, but oh, apart from Red Dead, people were just coming in um, with Red Dead, just saying spoiler. They just had it in there. They followed the channel and their name was the spoiler. That was annoying. Oh, well, it shows your deaths. Okay, that's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's not... Sorry, that's not the spoiler mode. I thought... I, I misunderstood the sentence. I thought he was going to go into another sentence that was going to be spoilery. Oh, yeah, Maggie. Like, I, I don't... I appreciate that. Like, I, I would have still enjoyed that movie regardless if, if, if it got spoiled. But I feel like my enjoyment would have been lessened if I did know personally. I don't know if you feel the same. I suppose you can't really tell because you haven't because um, you didn't see it without the spoilers, did you? I hope you like punched your friend in the throat afterwards. <laughs> You're pretty good it's about keeping things under, under the tap. Good, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I just want to try and keep it like, it's, cause I've, like it's, there's more obviously more to this game than meets the eye because people have been like banging on about it since it came out. Strawberries will impress your friends, but that's about it. Only collect them if you really want to. I have to. I have to. It's the whole point of life is to impress people, right? Kappa. 
Are we dreaming? Uh, I can't quite get up there, can I? Okay, the fact that there's light down there means, like, leads me to believe that I can go down there. This got super dreamlike very, very quickly. What the fuck is that? It's like a portal into another dimension or something. By the way, uh, the jumping in this is perfect. It's so good. Like I feel like I, I cannot blame the game if I do badly. And I love that. I think that's really good. Oh, really, Mo? Dude, I didn't realise someone did that for you. Did you no, but you threatened to spoil the movie for those who kept asking me about it. See, I, I'd be like, if someone did that to me, I would I would be really petty and go out of my way to spoil something for them. Depends on how they like the you know, how they meant it, I suppose. Like if they were just being innocent and not being uh, you know not being nasty about it, looking to spoil things for you. Beat, I probably wouldn't do it, but if it was someone that was just like, haha, this happens, and I worked with them or something, I would I would fuck their lives up in terms of like spoilers forever. Um I actually spoiled a big part of Tomorrowland to someone after I watched it a long time ago. I was foolish that day. To be fair, Cerebron, like that I can't even remember like that film's not even that old, is it? But it, is it really like I suppose any film like if people are looking forward to it you don't want to spoil the um, I didn't hear that film was particularly good was it this this feels like a dream God I can't even jump up this <laughs> like you know, that's a good that's a good sign isn't it that's just that. Uh, Cerebron, thank you for the follow, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. Honestly, thank you again for the raid. I really appreciate it. Yeah, uh, we watched um, we watched the uh, Final Fantasy VII trailer just before we started this. Uh, there's not a lot there, really, honestly. Now, okay, before, I, before we go any further, I'm guessing whatever this item is, it's going to change the polarity of those blocks and we'll be able to go through them or something. Or not? It's just literally a mirror. How the fuck do you get there? Can I... I can't... No, I can't travel through that yet. That's literally just to have a look down at the moment. So you've got a mirror of some kind. Alright. I guess I'll have to possibly come back here when I have a different, uh, different ability, perhaps. I don't know what... Wait, what? I don't know what what is. Oh, there was a... Yeah, there was one through here, wasn't there? Holy shit. There's an evil us?
It's Shadow Madeline. Shadowline? How the fuck do I get down to that other... Hang on a minute. Oh look, there's a, there's a wall there. Oh, I can't drop down now. Okay, fine. That's fine. I'm not, not so worried about getting... Um... Oh, that's sick. Not so worried about getting all the strawberries at the moment. I done done it now. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, wow. So you can use your momentum. This is really interesting. Um, is this music done by the same guy that did Dust Force? It sounds very familiar. Oh shit. What was this? Is that a little hole in the middle there? Fucking genius. See the controls in this is so good. It's by Lena Rain. What what else has she done, Maggie? It sounds very familiar. Found one of the more secretive berries. Good job. Yeah, let's do this. Like how there seems to be berries like all over the bloody place. I've been looking out for. I've, apparently, I've been doing a really bad job of it, but I've been looking out for um, uh, secrets in Link to the Past. So I've kind of, I've kind of got my eyes open at the moment for as, as, as many secrets as I can find. Are you not sure if she's composed music for any other game? Jesus, it's fucking. That's uh, if this is her first go, then um, she's going to get a lot more work after this. Definitely. It's very good. So that whole area was that missable? Oh, actually, yeah, no, I can't go around that way now. Yeah, no, I suppose it isn't missable, is it? Because I need to unlock that power for this. Madeline, darling, slow down. Who said that? Oh, I'm simply a concerned observer. Are you me? I'm part of you. Why would part of me look so creepy? 
This is just what I look like, okay? Deal with it. Sorry, I didn't mean... Forget about it. I can't tell you what a relief it is to finally get out of your head. But look, I'm worried about us. We need a hobby, but this... I know it sounds crazy, but I need to climb this mountain. You are many things, darling, but you are not a mountain climber. Who says I can't be? I know it's not your strong suit, but be reasonable for once. You have no idea what you're getting into. You can't handle this. This is exactly why I need to do this. Are you the weak part of me or the lazy part? I'm the pragmatic part. And I'm trying to be diplomatic here. Let's go home. Together. I love the little um, the little uh, portrait at the side there. Like she just almost like leaned out of it. Oh. Oh, alright. So we've got chase, chase bits as well. Right, cannot touch her at all. Ah shit, I think there was another secret there that I missed. This is this is interesting. I was not expecting something like this. Bollocks. <laughs> is the uh, music's not too loud, is it, guys? I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. It seems to be peaking quite high. Um, game has quite a lot of music. It's all quite amazing. It's really good. Really good. Yeah. Voices that get you every time. I really like the voices actually, because it, it, uh, although they're not really speaking, you can kind of get the tone, can't you, of how they're how they're speaking, which is kind of cool. Helps me like read it at least. Stitch, what's up, man? Good to see you. Mo, could you give uh, Stitch a shout out, please? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna guess, gonna guess before you do it. He's probably playing some retro. <laughs> Ow, balls. Get juked. Oh, it's not that time. Say, so, can you like crush her? Oh my god, you weren't. You were playing World of Warcraft. Jesus. <laughs> sorry, World of Warcraft. Monster Hunter, sorry. Buddy bought Monster Hunter, so you've been helping him. I, I've still got that to start, dude. But um, unfortunately, I've got it on the Xbox, which no one has it on. So, plus I'm kind of scared to start it, because it looks like a, it'll probably take up most of my free time. But guys, if you haven't, um, haven't already done so, please give uh, Stitch a follow. Uh, and um, I... I need to see Cerebron's channel first, but obviously if they've come in here, they are a person of great taste, so they deserve a follow. <laughs> Stitch is your man if you want retro stuff though, usually. He's, he's got it all. Oh, you're playing with him on Xbox? Okay. Hmm. Might have to, uh, we could potentially do a collaborative stream at some point. I'm not gonna lie, it's probably gonna be a long time before anything like that happens. Because there's, uh, I've currently got this pile of shame to try and do. And there's a lot in it. <laughs> I watched the trailer, are they even out of Midgar? No. It doesn't look like it anyway. Oh damn, do we have to get all of these? Oh, I see. So she, like, they totally mirror the moves that I do. 
That's cool. So I could kind of uh, plan where she's going to be. That makes it far less... Um, oh, shit. Helps if I jump properly, though. Makes it far more predictable. I was to say, why can I not... Oh, that's why, sorry. It does refresh your uh, jump when you go through that shit. Why can't... Why am I struggling so much to do this? Hang on, just die. Just die. I was doing fine, like doing it first time every time, and now I can't... I can't do it at all. That's why. Interesting. How the fuck do you get that one? Oh wait, can I just go straight up? Yeah, because you go you go through the spikes. I was doing alright there. I was doing really well, I thought. Oh my god, why did I do a short jump? I, why am I pausing that last jump up so badly each time? I feel like I should get the one on the right first, almost. <laughs> Don't be rude, it's a part of you. Yes, yeah, the evil part of me. I haven't even tried this because I know it would piss me off to no end. I, I'm actually not getting pissed off. Like It might seem like it, but I'm actually uh, enjoying the challenge. Oh. Damn it. Don't mind the challenge. Oh, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> Why did I do... I do the hard bit, like, fine, and then fuck up the easy bit. Oh, dear. It's because people are watching. Can't do it when people are watching. It's kind of bad as a streamer, isn't it? It's like I can go through that bit on the right there, perhaps. Or not. Oh, shit. That, 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 that one's going to be really tough to get, I think. Man. Uh, let's see. I'm off now. Enjoy the game stream later, Zool. Thank you, George. I appreciate it, man. I do appreciate it. You, uh, you would, though, Stitch. <laughs> I feel like it's... Um, I feel like it's... Uh, I, I like a good challenge. It's the same as... Um, I'm just trying to look it up. Uh, which one was it? Yeah, I've got to, sorry, I can't. I, I said it earlier and I forgot what it was. Um, trials. It was it was driving me mental, so I had to look it up. It's like, what was the game again? That you, oh god, I've got such a bad memory. Seriously. Ah. Oh. oh no! I'm not gonna be able to do that that well again. Actually, no, I, I did get it, didn't I? Because I touched the ground. So I'm all good. Okay. Mm. 
knackers. Oh, come off it. Fuck that strawberry for a minute. Uh, I, I cannot like describe how satisfying this is. Oh my god, there's five of them. Jesus Christ, you gotta do it all in one go. <laughs> Cerebron, thanks man, I appreciate it. Have a uh, have a good night. Thank you again for popping in. I'm gonna try not to let you down. Ah, balls. Wow, this is getting a bit hairy when there's uh, like rooms that are this long. Ah, so there's actually a shortcut there. Oh, bollocks. Uh, if I can get around that twice, you can drop down a bit quicker. See, so yeah, if I can get Speed runs. Believe it or not, it did used to grow up on platform games, so... I'm not the worst at them. There's like a secret up here. It's gotta be one up there, right? Yeah. This is so cool how like it's getting quiet. Oh god. <laughs> I did it the uh, I did it the hard way there. There's the one down below as well. Oh, okay. I think I've got it. Hang on. So it doesn't matter now. I can just peace out. I wonder if it is a dream. Hello? Madeline? Are you calling from a payphone? Yeah. No, wait. You called me. What are you talking about? Doesn't matter. I'm in trouble. I'm being chased by someone. I don't really understand what's going on, but I know I'm in danger. I can feel it. Madeline, you only call me when you're panicking in the middle of the night. You don't have to make up some ridiculous story just to get my attention. I'm not making it up. 
You always do this. Shh, it's alright, calm down. Is this her mum? I'm sorry, sweetheart. Talk to me. I'm cli climbing Celeste Mountain. I found this old mirror and it shattered, but part of me escaped and... I'm dreaming, aren't I? Madeline, of course you're dreaming. I haven't spoken to you in months. Why would I start now? Ugh, why am I even climbing this stupid mountain? I'm wondering the same thing. It's time to give up and go home. Not the best way to end a dream, really, is it? Right, so we can read this again now. Uh, I think I've got an idea of what this is about. Like already, it seems like I can, I can kind of picture what's going on. Oh, there's a dude up there. Can we get up there? We can. First, is there anything up the top? Nope. <clears throat> oh there, fellow explorer. Oh. Hi. Did you also trek up here to scope out these old ruins? Uh, no, I'm headed for the summit. Whoa, that's crazy. I'm Theo, by the way. An adventurer from a far-off land. Not much of a talker, are you? Mysterious lone wolf type. I get it. I'll just imagine some dark backstory for you. <laughs> hey Theo, sorry about earlier. I'm Madeline. I've got a lot on my mind. Well, this is a good place for it. Something about these ruins feels so introspective. It's really making me uh, take a look in the mirror, so to speak. Yeah, I get that. So what far off land do you hail from? Well, my inquisitive compatriot, I doth hail from the magic... Sorry, well, my inquisitive compatriot, I doth hail from the mystical enigmatic kingdom of... Canada? Oh, Seattle, okay. It sounds like a special place. Can we keep talking? Climbing up here was tough, but totally worth it. Just look at these ruins. I took so many great pics. Wanna see? Oh, sure. Theo, these are great. Maybe I'll finally hit a thousand followers with these. No, oh, we need to formally commemorate this occasion. Take a selfie with me, fuck's sake. 2019, everyone. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea right now. Come on, it's easy. Like this. That's cool, so this would like be totally missable then. Sorry about that. Don't worry, I won't post that one. No, it's alright. You can post it. I'm just not photogenic. I know those fucking feelings, Madeline. I do. <laughs> Madeline, don't be so hard on yourself. No one looks good without a filter. <laughs> Casual yet refined. What made you want to try photography? My grandpa was really into it. Apparently he was semi-famous in the photography world. I don't know if I'll ever be that good at it, but it's nice to feel close to him. So you're determined to climb the entire mountain? Yeah, I told myself I would. I'm done breaking promises to myself. Life goals, I dig it. I doubt I'll make it to the top like you. I'm not ready to turn back just yet. 
Jesus Christ, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I wasn't expecting this much text. Are you getting any data up here? I don't have a smartphone. Madeline, I don't even know how to respond to that. <laughs> ah, there you go. So you just gotta keep keep going until that you run out of uh, B prompt. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Like you know that there's nothing else you can do because you can't physically speak to them anymore. Because I, I don't want to miss any of that kind of stuff. Why are they just random springs? <laughs> uh, I thought there might have been something up there. I mean, why not, I guess? Whoopsie daisy. I can, I can kind of see why this won uh, People's Game of the Year. What is that? Oh, that's another spring. Uh, is that what I had to do? I think we just had to make the strawberry go to a different place, right? relaxing. Hello? Hey mom. Madeline? What a nice surprise. How's your trip? It's okay. I'm just kind of overwhelmed. Oh no, you're having another panic attack. Focus on your breathing, honey. I'm here. What's going on? It's at the end of the level. Man, this game's fucking beautiful. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with my my gut here, and I kind of feel like the um, Madeline's kind of like depressed or something along those lines, like inner demons and stuff, and. Uh, she kind of wants to conquer that by climbing the mountain, I guess. That'd be my guess. By the way, is the chat dead or is it just, uh, is everyone just enjoying the game? I can never tell if it's uh, actually moving or not or if it's crashed. Uh, what's the time? Okay, we've got about another hour. Eight out of eighteen. As I think I was like exactly the same amount of deaths there as well. What's this? Madeline. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was, it was exactly the same amount of deaths. <laughs> Crystal hearts. Dude, this is a, this is a really interesting map screen as well because it's like fully three D, while obviously the rest of the game is not. I like it. <laughs> 